And we're just cutscene. Ah, uh, we're just gonna cutscene. Okay, so toggle them lights on. Cool. Are we now? Is that? Aha. Okay, so this is the next day. I wasn't sure if we needed to sleep or or what. Oh, good morning, lion. I hope you slept well. Yep. Excellent. After our little celebration last night, I started thinking. Renovating the house made such a big difference to the town. I thought there must be other things we can do to brighten it up around here. What do you say? Sounds great. You think so? Great stuff. Well, um... Truth be told, I hadn't thought much after that. <laughs> um, perhaps the other villagers have some ideas for the things they'd like to see in town. If you've got some time today, could you speak with them and find out for me? Will do. Great. Thank you, Lion. Come by my shop when you're done. See you. All right, well, oh, and I have a mailbox. I have a mailbox. It's so rare to actually have, like, mailboxes in games. You would think in Slice of Life games that they would be more popular, but no, they're, they're, they're not. It's, it's, off, it's actually kind of surprising how little you see of, like, a good functioning mailbox. I'm being facetious, of course. They're quite popular. <laughs> you see a lot of them. Um, all right, let me pull some weeds here. Oh, get back here. Uh, I'm like picking flowers and grabbing tall grass and... Okay, hello. Hey, lion! Man, so awesome what you did with that house! It's totally changed the vibe of the town. What's up? Requests? Oh, man. Uh, I have no idea about these things. Uh, something like a flower planter or two, maybe? That'd be pretty sweet. Sweet. All right, and then I saw... Wait, I saw you. Where are you? There you are. Come here, you. Oh, oh, uh, Lion. I, I was just in the middle of something, but sure. Well, what do you want? Requests? Hmm. You know, we always used to have at least one fence around here, but lately I've not seen any. Terrible turn of events, I'd say. Noted. Mm-hmm. Glad somebody's taking the time to shape things up around here. Things have been slipping quite a bit recently, I dare say. I definitely get a Rolf the dog from him. I, I don't know if it's just sort of like me because I absolutely love the character of Rolf the dog. But I, I definitely get a, a, a Rolf the dog feeling from him. All right, so I'm not seeing anybody else. Last night, <coughs> uh, last night at the party, we saw a pig there, didn't... Hello? Didn't we see a pig there? Hello. There we go. That's an odd design choice. Hmm. Okay, so these two... But... Wasn't there, like, a pig... I saw, like, a pig or something. I'm gonna keep picking all this stuff because... Because reasons. Maybe I can sell the flowers or something. So that kind of makes me think that there is another inhabitant of the town that I have not yet met. But I don't really know where else I may have may need to go. As far as I know, we really haven't unlocked anything else. 
So, buttons. Uh, is there, like, maybe a, I don't know, a secret... A secret direction to go? Doesn't look like it. All right, and then, of course, we need to go back here. I should probably talk to Oma. Uh, oh! Oh, there's a down! I forgot there's a down. Is there maybe, uh, like a pig fellow down here? No. Okay, um... I mean, it, w it wasn't a completely terrible thought. Uh, Oma! Let's go ahead and talk to Oma. Hello, Oma. Hey, lion! Very nice of you to help Moss improve the town. Uh, do you, do you have anything that maybe you'd like to have done? Okay, doesn't look... Was there somebody up here? No, it's just... I could have sworn I saw a pig character. Oh, maybe. Maybe, maybe it's, uh... Yeah, maybe the workshop is open. That's a good thought. Hi, Diamond. Let's see if this is open now. Locked. Nope. Well, it was a nice thought. It was a nice thought. <clears throat> we'll, we'll go ahead and we will talk to Moss. All right, and just to kind of glance around. Dude. It's a Nintendo. At some point, we need to get a Nintendo. Oh, Lion! How did you get on? All good. Great stuff! Hmm. So they've asked for a flower planter and a fence in town, eh? That doesn't sound like it'd be too much trouble. I don't have anything like that here. Maybe Sally can help out. Sally? Oh, oh that's right. I don't think you've met her yet. Uh, Sally is usually busy working away in her workshop on this and that. Oh, why don't you swing by and see if she can help us out? Okay. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Lion. All right. That sounds... Is this a... All right. So we do, it's like we can access some of these things and other things we can't. All right. And I... Can I re... 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 No, I can't. <laughs> no, of course not. I don't want to, like, do anything bad to people. It was more just sort of morbid curiosity, really. <laughs> I just wanted to see if it was possible. Eh. 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 Since most likely we're going to be building a, a, a flower planter of some sort, Figure I may as well just go ahead and take a moment and grab some extra wood. Because that's probably going to be a thing. Alright. And here we go. Ah, okay, so not a pig. Uh, okay. <clears throat> oh, uh, hey! You must be... Um, wait, wait, don't tell me. A uh, lion, right? Uh, great. Uh, hey, uh, I'm Sally. So nice to meet you. Uh, welcome to my little wooden home. Or, well, my workshop, I guess. <laughs> um, how are you? Uh, anything I can help you with? Request? Oh, how fun! You're after a flower planter and a fence, are you? Hmm... Shouldn't be hard to put them together, I reckon. I'm gonna need some resources, though. Uh, let's see. 
For the flower planter, I'll need wooden logs and yellow petals. And let's see. For the fence, I'll need wooden logs. Uh, that should do it. I think you can find all of those outside somewhere. But come back when you've gathered everything, and we can get to the fun part. Making stuff. Okay. I don't know why, but I have a Marge Simpson voice for her. Oh, homie. Yeah, I, I don't know why. I just have a I have a Marge Simpson for her, I guess. Uh, you can craft what uh, resources are needed to craft an item in your backpack. Oh, you can view what sort of resources uh, to, needed to craft in your backpack. I can view which ones I need. You know, I have accessing to the uh, have. Oh, my gosh. Have access to the crafting tab. Switch to it now and we'll take a look at this one. Great. Here you can see crafting recipes. By selecting one, you can view the information about that item. Okay. Cool. On the right, you can see all the resources, uh, all the resources, either all the resources you need or all the resources needed. Oh boy, to craft this item. Close your backpack when you're ready to continue. Once again, developers, if you'd like someone to come and proofread, <laughs> I'm I, I'm happy to help you. Grammar Nazi in me is is like going nuts over here. <clears throat> Close your backpack when you're ready to continue. OK. So do I what? Just like here? Hey, what are you doing there? I'd really appreciate it if you don't touch my stuff, if that's cool. I don't want you hurting yourself now. Oh, well, I, I just, I, I thought we were, I have your stuff. Lion, how are you getting on? I got it all. Oh, super. Nice. Uh, okay, uh, let's get making. Oh, uh, you know what? What? Why don't you have a go at crafting them? Well, I was trying to. <laughs> you look like someone who knows their way around a lathe. What do you say? Uh, sure. That's the spirit. See that work area just in front of the stove? That's where you can craft things. You can turn resources into other resources. Not only that, but you can craft items as well. Pretty amazing, eh? <laughs> yeah. Woo! Okay. Give it a go. And now he's gonna now she's gonna let me do it. Here are all the crafting recipes you have available to craft one first select it. Bam. You can select how many you'd like uh, to craft on this pop-up when you're ready, craft your first item. Bam. Crafted. And then Crafted. Wow! Look at you go! That's a pretty fine looking flower planter. Now, this can't be your first attempt at a fence either, surely. It looks so good! Oh, I'm sure Moss will be delighted. Oh! Uh, tell him I say hi too, yeah? Will do. Thank you! Make sure you use the proper personal pro Exactly. You know, waiting on the locomotive that travels on these rail. Yeah, really. Uh, okay, so... B. Task. Okay, so we're, we're, we're going. I just wanted to make sure that, you know, they, they weren't going to say, Oh, wait, you need to make six fences or something like that. So far, a very simplistic game, but I actually do like games like this where uh, they're, you know, they don't necessarily, you don't have to necessarily go all super deep and complex at the very beginning. You know, it's it's taking you in gradual steps, and I do like that. I appreciate that because that means that caters to all ages. Uh, everywhere from like the very young kids who are maybe, maybe this is their first video game all the way up to old people like me who just like a good gameplay that's very smooth 
and and natural. And that's kind of what this it feels natural. So I, I appreciate that. I do. All right, Moss, here we go. Oh, lion. How did you get on? Made him. Oh, well, that really is something. Sally doesn't usually let others touch her tools. She must have taken a liking to you, young'un. Ah, uh, well then, let's get those lovely creations placed out somewhere in town. I trust you can find a good spot for them. Leave it to me. Great stuff. Let me know when you're done. Okay. Place an item out in the world. First, open your backpack. Select one of the items you just crafted to begin placement. Okay, let's do the flower planter. While placing, you can rotate an item by pressing and holding the left shift. Okay. Oh, okay. Like that. Gotcha. When you have the item where you like, place it down, uh, place it down by pressing the E button. Or apparently the mouse button. Uh, okay, uh, well, I think maybe this this planter right here would would be nice. Uh, let's see. With the planter and the fence. Hmm. What the heck do I do with a fence? One single fence. Um... What the heck do I do with one single fence? Maybe put it right like here. Turn to moss. Okay. <clears throat> I can do that. I can do that. All right. Uh, hey, lion. How did you get on? Placed. Splendid. I'm certain they've helped liven up the town more than a little bit. I was thinking, with the improvements we're doing to the town, we're soon going to run out of space. And I'm sure you'll soon start running out of resources, too, if you continue crafting things. You might have seen that there's quite a bit of space on the other side of the river. It's not that wide, and I'm pretty sure if you ask Sally nicely, she might help us sort out some sort of a bridge. What do you say? Let's do it. <laughs> oh, by the way, Oma wanted to speak to you about something. Go and have a chat with her when you've got time. Okay. I can do that. Oh, my eyes are a little itchy. It is... Uh, definitely spring. Uh, no doubt you'll think I'm being grumpy, but I just can't understand modern music. Or movies. TV. I don't think you're grumpy. Hey, lion. Feeling kind of down today, but I'm sure it'll pass. I'm sure it will, too. <clears throat> All right. Oma. Oh, Lion, if you've got a few minutes, I thought I'd tell you about something I'm pretty sure you're going to like. Oh? <laughs> I thought it would be nice to reward you for some of the work you've been doing improving the town. So I came up with an idea. I'm calling them Mayor May Merits. Well, basically, they're rewards you can unlock by doing small jobs around the town. Mayor merits, okay. So, maybe mayor merits are kind of the currency of the game? Actually, that's kind of clever. Because if you have a small community, the community is going to be more sort of like helping each other rather than necessarily paying each other and buying each from each other. So it kind of makes sense that you sort of have these mayor merits 
and it's sort of like, hey, it, it's sort of more of a recognition for what you've done. So it's like, hey, man, you've been helping out around here, so let me help you. Okay, I kind of, I can see where that could play a part. When you plant trees or whatever, you'll make progress towards a merit and a reward. You'll find a new tab in your backpack where all the merits are listed, so you can see how close you are to completing one. Some mayor merits are pretty great, even if I do say so myself. So keep an eye on that page. Will do. Great. Take a look and see if you're close to completing one of them. Have a lovely day, lion. I will. Mayor Merits, welcome to the Mayor Merits page. Here you can see all the merits you can unlock and your progress towards each of them. Okay, so bonus house plant, pot of bamboo. Once you complete a merit, you'll get a notification. Check this page for information on what merit you've unlocked and your reward. Oh, so it's this is also skill progression. Okay, so it's this one right here. Okay, so it's a skill progression as well. Oh my gosh, what? Villagers waved at. Total game days, requests completed, times clothing changed. Items sold, objects placed in town, distance traveled, time spent sprinting. Original designs made, peace packs purchased, houses placed, rocks smashed, boots fished up, and types of vegetable grown. What? <laughs> okay. So we kind of have some progression in some place, in, in some things. I have a home. Okay. Oh, so it's not it. Okay, so we have stuff for people. Oh, and they, oh my gosh, we have for everything. Okay, trees planted, flowers planted, trees felled. Oh my gosh, lots of stuff. Um. Okay, so wow, this is actually pretty involved. Pretty darn involved. Okay, and then, okay, I am noticing that a lot of these are the same thing, so probably, like, certain things will give you progress in a multitude of different stuff. I actually kind of like that. That's cool. And then, okay. How interesting. So how do I wave? I, I tried to figure out how to wave. I want to start waving at people. If I wave is... Oh, it's C. See, I was pressing F. Yeah, the e whoa, emote menu. Yeah. Wait. Okay, hold on. So if I... C. Go here. C. Did that count? Villagers waved at. It did not count. C. Emo button. Maybe, okay, so maybe that's something that, it, again, it has to be unlocked. Wait, okay, C. Oh. Okay. Okay, do I do you have to be looking at me? They have to be looking at me. Okay. And may maybe it's something that has to be in the world. Maybe I have to be like Okay, so maybe not maybe not in a store. It has to be like I'm passing by somebody. Ah, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. So I just have to sort of like, hey guys, how's it going? What's going on? And, and now I've waved at these multiple times. Interesting. 
So it is counting as multiple waves. Yeah, I can sit here and literally just wave at these guys all day. Like, hey guys. Oh, okay, maybe not. Maybe, maybe there's only a certain... I have to be close. No, they have to be seeing me. Gotcha. So can I just sit here and just wave at him? Hi. Good to see you. Yep, there we go. <laughs> cash reward! Bag o' cash! Oh, okay, so there actually is... Money. So I, I got I got some money. Um how do I how do I know how much money I have? I have one coin. Oh here we go. Bag of cash. Aha! Alright. That just gave me more stuff. So can can I now continue waving at people and it will do Okay, yes, I can. I can continue waving at people. All right. So, we'll we'll continue to be friendly to to people whenever whenever it comes up here. Let's look at our task list here. To speak to Sally about the bridge. So, I guess just whenever I pass somebody, I'll wave at them. I won't sit there and and and, <laughs> and abuse the mechanic. Which I absolutely could. Uh, but I won't. Alright, I'm gonna keep gathering flowers and such. Oh, my nose is itchy. Alright, hey, Sally. Ah, lion! Welcome back! I'll bet Moss loved those items you built for him. What are we building today? A bridge. A bridge? Well, <laughs> that's definitely not what I was expecting. Bridge, eh? Hmm. Well, for starters, we're going to need a bunch of wooden planks. Reckon you can help me out with that? Yes. Great. Here's the crafting recipe for wooden planks. About ten should do it, I think. While you're sorting that out... I'll get to work on a design. Okay, so how much does it take? Okay, so it's two. All right, well, then I can just sort of go boom and we'll just do the maximum. Nice to know that it doesn't do it one at a time. It's literally just a, 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 one, a, a one and done. Let's go ahead and... Grab us out. Ooh, ooh. Here we go. Right. That's another... That's, a, that's another four, right? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. That should give us what we need to get done. And two. All right. That should be ten. <clears throat> How's it going, teammate? Looks like you've got all the wood we need. Super! I threw together a quick design for a bridge that I think will work. Do you want to have a go of making it? A bit of a big project for your first build, but I know you're up to the task. Okay. Awesome! See the design table just there with all the drawings and paper on it? That's where you can turn designs into real objects. Interact with it to get started. Okay. The design table is where you turn designs into real objects. Interact with it to continue. Okay. Choose an existing design to customize or craft. We want to build the design Sally gave to us. Uh, you'll find a list of designs and existing designs. Okay. Select a bridge design to show information on it. This screen shows you information on the selected design. Choose build to turn the design into a real object. So it just says rules. And then it says planks over here. Build. Woo! 
I told you you could do it. That bridge is going to do a great job of getting us over that pesky river, I'm sure. Now all that's left is to find a good place for it. I'll leave that in your capable hands, teammate. Now, when I saw this, this said 54 planks. And I only had 10. Is the first sort of just a gimme? Just like furniture and other items, you can place bigger items like the bridge by selecting it in your backpack. Select the bridge to enter placement mode. Okay. All right, well, I think maybe the bridge. Yeah, maybe put the. Can I can I rotate this bridge? Oh, I that was unintentional. Uh, hold on. I just wanted to, to see if maybe that was a better way to go. B. What if we put it here? Ah, do, oh, 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 wait, wait. I could put it there. Oh, whoa, what? what? Why did it do that? Whoa, I did not do that. Lift, uh, rotate object, left shift. Okay. Uh, tell you what, let's just go ahead and put it behind the house. Well, well. What a magnificent bridge. Well done, Lion and Sally. You've truly outdone yourselves. My teammate Lion did all the work, really. I just gave him the design. Oh, our little town is growing up. It brings a tear to my eye seeing the lovely things you've been doing for us, Lion. You know, I'm sure there are other folks out there who'd love to come live with us here. In fact, I'm certain one or two visitors at my inn mentioned they'd be interested in moving. Mm-hmm. Sadly, we don't have any houses for them to move into, though. Ah, but we do. With a little bit of work, Lion here put together enough resources to renovate one house. I'm sure if we ask nicely, they'd help us with the second one. Of course. See? I told you, Moss. <laughs> Seriously, though, that would be wonderful of you, my dear. Here's another donation box. Do what you did last time and interact with the house to place it outside. Then we can fill the donation box with resources, and in no time, we'll have a delightful new home for a new villager to move into. How exciting! I'll fix it. <laughs>